No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. Okay, so now we're going to go through the USSA Comp Guide and we're going to look at some special circumstances for USSA penalties. And you're not going to be able to read what I have in the book uh, on the video, and that's fine because what I really want you to do is I really want you to get the Alpine Competition Guide for whatever season you happen to be watching this. And I want you to go to the appropriate chapter in this comp guide is chapter three points and rankings. And then there's some stuff and then here rules for USSA race penalty calculations. Okay, so we're gonna go through uh, these sort of one at a time. Okay. Fewer than 10 racers finishing. When fewer than 10 races, racers finish a USSA sanctioned event and their results are submitted for scoring, the minimum race penalty shall be 180 points for downhill, Super G is 135, GS is 110, Slalom is 80, and Super Combined is 125, regardless of the mathematically calculated penalty. Example, da 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 da. Okay, so let's go through that one briefly. So I'm not going to use real actual races for this, I'm just going to make them up and I'm going to go quickly. Suppose we have a USSA uh, Super G. And my best five at the start are going to be Tom, Bob, Joe, um, Todd and Billy and Tom has um, 55.23 Bob has 107.92 uh, Joe has um, well I should go back that up make that 67 68.231, and um, 80.12. And now let's suppose that we have Tom, Bob, Billy, Joe, and uh, Mark, Sam, and who did I miss out of there? Todd and Sam. And that's it. That's all we have that are finishing. So those are the only finishers that we have. So now we have uh, Todd, 70.85, we have um, Tom, 55.23, Bob, 67.92, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care because what's really going to end up happening is if I just add these up, 5.5, five, Point two three plus six seven point nine two plus six eight point three one plus seven zero point eight five plus eight zero point one two. I'm going to get three forty two point four three. So down here, I'm going to put three forty two point. Four, three. Now, because I just jury rigged it so that these five are all going to end up here, then what I'm going to also put here is 342.43. Because these five are going to be here and they're going to be here. Now, I haven't calculated race points, 
but the race points are going to make this penalty smaller. So race points have got to make the penalty smaller. So right now, if I do 342.43 times 2 divided by 10, right now I'm going to come up with a penalty, my calculated penalty is going to be greater than 68.49. So it's going to be 'm sorry less than so it's going to be less than sixty eight point four nine less than and I'm going fast on this and you can stop and you can think about it. I just want to go through this explanation one more time. These are my top five guys in the race. Add up their points, I get this. I'm totally making up these numbers. I totally jury rigged it so that my best five in the race end up in the top ten. And in fact, I only have eight finishers. Because the rule that I'm dealing with is if you have less than ten finishers. So these points are going to also end up here, so they're going to end up here. Now whatever appears in this column is going to make this smaller. So if I put zero there, I get 68.49. In actuality, I'm not going to put zero there. I'm going to put some number there. So I'm going to get some number less than 68.49. Now here's the kicker. It's a super G, and I have less than 10 racers finishing. So according to this rule right here, the maximum penalty, I'm sorry, the minimum penalty is 135. So, I would go through here and I would put something in here, but then my penalty would be 135. If I came up, this is, so this is a minimum penalty. Minimum penalty. So, if I went through this process and I came up with 180, then my penalty would be 180. So, one more time, I want to say that one more time. If I did all this exactly the same way, but these guys had had USSA points that were much worse than this, and so I fill this out, fill this out, fill this out, and I come down here and I come up with 180.5. Then 180.5 would be the penalty. But if I come up with something less than 135.00, then the minimum penalty rule kicks in. So the minimum penalty is 135.00. If your calculated penalty is less than that, you apply 135. If your calculated penalty is greater than that, you apply the calculated penalty. Okay, so we just did fewer than 10 races finishing, so we're going to take these a little bit out of order because now we're going to go to fewer than 5 racers finish. I'm going to read through it. You can get your comp guide and you can read through it yourself. When fewer than five racers finish a USSA sanctioned event and the results are submitted for scoring, the race penalty shall be calculated as follows. Insert ghost racers as necessary to bring the total actual finishers and ghost racers to five. Assign each ghost racer seat points of downhill 820, Super G 660, GS 530, Slalom 330, Super Combined 660. So these are what's known as the maximum seed points for calculations. And we're going to see it in this rule here, and we're also going to see it in this rule here. Those numbers, those max seed points for calculations, are going to show up in this place, this place, and this place. Okay. 
assign each ghost racer race points equal to those of the lowest ranked worst time finisher. Calculate the penalty according to the formula using these assigned values. No race penalty can be calculated when there are fewer than three finishers. So if you have fewer than three finishers, you're just out of luck. Okay? But if you've got three or four, well, we'll just walk through it. And uh, if you've got three or four finishers, then this rule applies. I don't know when you're going to have three or four finishers. I'm here to go through the rules. Okay, so we got Betty, Jane, Veronica, and Sally. Okay, and so then we have Betty wins, uh, Veronica comes second, Sally comes third, and that's our race. We had four people who started, and we got three people who finished. And so Betty has uh, 200 points on the nose, Jane has 210 points, Veronica has uh, 280 points, and Sally has 300 points. And so Betty up here has 200. Jane didn't finish. Veronica has 280. And Sally has 300. And I'm just going to make up race points. So race points for Betty are going to be zero always because she won. Race points for Veronica are going to be 25. Race points for Sally are going to be 35. Now, that's our, that's our race. That's what actually happened. Now, we have to add in ghosts. So, ghost 1, and then ghost 1, ghost 2. Now, the max seed points for calculation, well, what discipline are we doing? We're going to do a, oh, we're going to do a GS. So this is a GS. So the max seed points for calculations are 530. And we put that down here as well, 530. And then it says, assign each ghost race, ra racer race points equal to those of the lowest ranked worst time finisher. Unfortunately, that's Sally. So Sally's race points are 35. So it goes 35, 35. Okay. So now I'm not going to write. I'm just going to calculate bang, bang, bang real fast. So we got... 200 plus 210 plus 280 plus 300 plus 530 plus 200 plus 280 plus 300 plus 530 plus 530 minus 25 minus 35 minus 35 minus 35 gets me to 3230. 3230 divide that by 10, 323, and the penalty applied is 323. So there is a very quick look at, you know, and I went through it fast. You can go through it slow, you can hit pause, you can hit rewind. So that's what you do if you have less than five finishers. But it's actually more three finishers or four finishers is how it would work.
Okay, so this rule here, racers in the first five have USSA points in excess of discipline max. And this rule here, fewer than five um, fewer than five racers in first ten with valid seed points. Well, they're kind of the same, but they're kind of different. When at least five five racers finish and have valid, valid USSA points, but more one or more of the five best racers by USSA points has points over the maximum. First determine the racers with the five best lowest valid USSA points, then assign points at the maximum for the discipline to all the racers whose points exceed the maximum. Next calculate the form next calculate according to the formula. All right. So let's think about this one for a second. Okay, so here's how I interpret this rule. Well, let's do a slalom and the max seed points for slalom are going to be 360. Okay. So let's take uh Susie, Jill, Sarah, Becky, and um, Mariah. And they're the best five in the race. And so Susie has 150 points. Jill has 175 points, Sarah has 200 points, Becky has uh, 300 points, and Mariah has 500 points. Okay. Then if we look at the finishers, we have Susie is up here, Jill, Sarah, um, and let's see, we have uh, Jane, and then we have Becky, and then down here uh, we have, well, and then that's who we have in the race. Mariah did not finish. So Mariah's it did not finish. And so we look and we see Susie, it was here, so she's got a 150. Jill's got a 175. Sarah's got a 200. And Jane uh, has, well, get back to Jane, Becky has 300. Now Jane has USSA points, but her USSA points are worse than Mariah's. So Jane's USSA points are 650. Okay? So, she'd go in here as a 650. But, we got a problem with Mariah, and we got a problem with Jane. Because the max seed points for our calculation is 360. So, in fact, I would take Mariah's 500 and replace it with a 360, and I would take Jane's 650 and replace it with a 360. Okay. So that's what I would do according to this rule. Anybody in my penalty calculation who has points greater than 360 for slalom, 530 for GS, etc., etc., I'd replace them with the maximum seed points for calculations. Okay. Now we need race points. Winner has zero points always. Uh, 15 points, 30 points, 80 points, uh, and 120 points. Okay. So now doing this calculation out, I'm going to go 150 plus 175 plus 200, plus 300, 
plus 360, which is the maximum points I can use in this calculation, plus 150, plus 175, plus 200, plus 360, plus 300, minus 15, minus 30, minus 80, minus 120, and I come up with 2125. So down here I go 2125. Over here I have 212.5. That is my penalty. Okay. And let's see here. Yep. And so that would be my penalty for the race. 212.5. If that was too fast for you, go back and watch the video again. Okay, and I said that uh, there's slight differences between this rule and this rule, but I think that the example that I just gave covers this rule as well. When there are fewer than five racers with valid points who finish in the first ten, or in the first nine, da -da 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 -da, the race penalty shall be calculated as follows. Assign the minimum seed points to the worst ranked competitor finishing in the first 10, 9, da 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 da, in order to bring the total of racers with points to 5, including both of those, both those with valid points and those with assigned points. Calculate the penalty according to these values. Okay, so it's not hard, it's not hard to modify this. Okay, so all I got to do to modify it is, instead of saying Jane has 650 points, well, let's just say that Jane doesn't have points at all. Let's say that Jane hasn't raced in a USSA slalom yet. So, so Jane hasn't raced in a USSA, USSA slalom yet. Jane doesn't have USSA points, so you wouldn't have a value to plug in there. Well you do have a value to plug in there and according to the rules the value that you plug in there is 360 so that's how you would modify that to get to that rule anybody who just doesn't have points at all because they haven't participated in a ranked event to get onto the points list well then you would just put in the ma the max the maximum seed points for the discipline as their points in your penalty calculation. All right, on to these two rules. We're going to hit these two rules together in the same example. Two or more competitors are ranked 10th. In the event where two or more competitors are ranked 10th in the race, they shall all be taken in consideration for the penalty calculation as long as they are included in the five with the best points. Okay two or more competitors have the fifth best points. If two or more competitors have the, f have the fifth best points, which should be taken into consideration for the penalty calculation, the competitor with the higher race points will be considered for the penalty calculation. Reason better quality. Okay, so let's get into that. Okay, so this is going to get messy, but uh, because there's not room for this on the form, but we're going to make room on the form. So we're going to have Bob, Rob, Robert, Bill, Will, and William. And Bob's going to have uh, 25 points, Rob's going to have 26 points, Robert's going to have 27 points, Bill's going to have 28 points, Will's, uh, Bill's got 28, Will's got 29, and then William also has 29. So Will and William both have 29 race, have 29 points, so we actually have a tie at fifth place in the start. Okay, now they're all going to finish up here. Uh, we'll put Robert here. 
And we'll put Bob here. And uh, Rob here. And uh, Will is going to be end up here. Actually, I want Will to end up down here. And uh, who do I got? I got William here. And uh, Rob, boom, 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 boom. Bill goes right there. So now here we got Sam, Joe, Steve, Mark, and Todd. Okay, I know I'm making a mess of this, but it's messy. So, well, let's see here. We've got um, Bob here has 25 points. So he's in the top five. Rob, down here, he's got 26. Robert has, um, up here, he's got 27. Bill has... 28. William has 29. And uh, Will also has 29. So my top, my top six, because I had a tie at five, so my top five with a tie of five to make six, they all finished in the top ten, which is actually the top eleven because I had a tie at eleventh place. So now let's go through and do some race points. Zero, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, 45 and 45. Well, how do these guys have the same race points? Well, because they're tied. That was the whole point, is that Todd and Will are tied. So they got the same time, they got the same race points, so Will is in the top 10. He's just sharing that with Todd. Now, what I want to do is in calculating my top five, it actually doesn't matter that I've got a tie here because whether I do this one or this one, it just doesn't really matter. So I do uh, 25 plus 26 plus 27 plus 28 plus 29, and what I put here is I put 135. And the same thing here, it doesn't matter. All of them ended up 26, uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So it doesn't matter which one of those I use either. But now it does matter. According to the rule up here, I've got a tie. I've got a 29 and I've got a 29. Now I'm going to use the guy with the worst race points because that's going to help the penalty by giving me a bigger subtraction down here. So basically, Will, William is kind of out of it. And so, so it's going to be this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Zero, 10, 20, 35, 45. And I add those up, I get 30. And 30, and that's going to be 80, and so that's going to be 110. So I got 135, 135, 110. So that's going to be 270 minus 110 is going to be 160. And I got a penalty of 16. Okay. <clears throat> That's not very realistic, but again, these are just what-if scenarios, and so what-if scenarios are 
you're very rarely going to see them. It would be almost impossible for me to find a race online where this happened, so I have to make it up, and I have to, um, and, I, and I've got to do what I do. Incidentally, the minimum penalty for a USSA race, period, is 15, so this comes in one ahead of the minimum penalty, so Robert did really, really well for himself today.